What's up, poppin' everybody? It's your girl, Anna, back at it again. But first, I want to show you guys the new products that I got. This is a Stila Cream Contour Kit. It has a cream color and a contour color. It's really good. I've tried it. I'll use it in this tutorial, actually. Then I got a Star Wars Cargo Palette, which I thought was awesome. It's limited edition, so I'm not sure if you can get your hands on it. Then, check this out. Are you ready? I got myself an Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Oh my, me. I got one late. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined being able to afford that. Then, I have something really cool for you guys. This is a highlight palette that I got from Kohl's for about $12. And it looks like an Anastasia Glow Kit. Like, do you see that? It's beautiful. Then I got some things in my Ipsy bag for this month. I got a little highlighting brush that is super cute. I got a Koki liquid lipstick. I'm not sure in what shade. Then I got a small sample of the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And Absolute New York Eyeshadow. And thank you, Olivia, for this awesome tart blush it's super cute and then I got a moisturizer I'm not really sure what it's called but I love it so let's jump right into this tutorial here we have bare face me you know same old same old gonna put that headband in our hair then I'm taking that moisturizer that I previously mentioned the lip was hard to get out, but I'm putting it on my skin. I put it on my skin overnight the other night, and it cleared my acne completely, so I totally recommend this stuff. I'm not sure how expensive it was. I got it in an Ipsy bag. Then I'm going to be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, priming my face. Duh. Um, I should probably get the full size in this because I like it, but I'm just applying that um, to my T-zone, so where my pores are the largest, which is on my chin, my nose, and my cheeks, my forehead. And then what I'm doing is... I'm blending it out upwards and outwards if that makes sense so if it's on my cheeks I'm blending it out to the edge of my face then I'm gonna be taking the Ipsy X Aurora green color corrector just going over some acne that popped up this morning which is not okay not cool but it happens to the best of us then just blending that out with my real techniques little beauty sponge dude Then I'm going to be taking my favorite foundation on a little foundation brush, the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 00A. Just putting that all over my face using this little brush, which is a new method, but I'm trying it out to see which method I like. So I'm applying that using the brush, and then I will be blending it out with the beauty sponge. If you're curious on where I got the foundation brush, I can't exactly remember where. I think it just came from like in a brush kit with a bunch of other brushes but here I'm just blending out my foundation then moving on to eyebrows in one of my last tutorials I had mentioned how I didn't like this product I know I know just bear with me okay because I've been trying to figure out how to finesse these brows using this tool and I think I got an okay I think I'm doing an okay job with it I'm not going as large with my brows as of late I'm just going a little bit above not drastically above but following my natural hairline pattern and filling in just the areas that need a little bit more product. And they are not finished here, by the way. These look like super full, super crazy. I know. Hold on. We're going to blend it out. We're going to get it looking good. So I'm just going to take that Milani Conceal and Perfect because it's a concealer and foundation in one. And I find it's um, super full coverage and it's really convenient if you want a concealer and a foundation one you just grab the one bottle so then i'm going to be concealing my eyebrows going over areas that i may have messed up on and making sure that i get the shape of my eyebrows right everybody's eyebrows are different so you might like your eyebrows round you might like them square you might like them in i don't know ovals egg shapes however you do your eyebrows you do your eyebrows makeup is so individualized and specific to you as an individual never feel like you have to fall into these guidelines of like perfect instagram brows or anything like that if you don't even want to have eyebrows then don't have eyebrows shave them off you do you boo boo don't worry about what anybody else thinks about your brows um for the longest time i actually like did my eyebrows using eyeshadow that is also an option do whatever makes you happy and however you would like to do it. Hey, get it, boo. Ah, my dog interrupted at this point. I'm still doing my eyebrows, but that's Jenny. She walked in. <laughs> then just blending out the concealer slash foundation that I put around my eyebrows to make sure that my edges are nice and snatched. 
which is a very interesting term to use for concealer smashed, but it's fine. So now I'm actually moving on to cream contouring. In the next clip, literally, I say I'm nervous. Girl, I had never colored contour, I mean cream contour before, color contour, whatever. So finally, I'm using that little elf brush that every single time I'm like, I use this for cream contouring, but don't have any cream contour. Guess who's on the cream contour line now? So I actually used it for this and totally loved it. The I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit first and then decided to go in with a little bit of a darker shade in the Stila. The Anastasia cream is really thick and it tugged on my skin a lot if you'll be able to see like it just tugged a lot so i'm snatching my nose real quick and then doing my forehead just as i would normally use powder contour see i mean there's no real need to panic it's the same as regular contour you just don't put powder on before it so now i'm taking my little round knockoff artiste brush 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 and just blending that out making sure it's nice and even as i go because i don't want to tilt face even though I probably have a tilt face, but I just can't tell because it's on me. Hey, if you want a tilt face, go with a tilt face. I just didn't want a tilt face at that time. So I'm blending out my jawline contour and other contours. Every contour that I contoured, I'm blending out, obviously. And I'm singing along to something, but I don't know what. Next, I'm going to be taking that Stila kit. This has the most beautiful, wonderful formula I have ever experienced in my life. It is so smooth, so creamy. When I was blending it out, it didn't pull on my skin at all. So honestly, I'm not even going to lie about this. I kind of prefer the Stila one to the Anastasia one. But So I'm taking a little bit more of that darker shade in the Stila Compact and just going over my jawline contour again because I actually ended up deciding that I really liked it. Um kind of better than the Anastasia one. The Anastasia one is good. Don't get me wrong. Don't come at me. But I definitely like the Stila one. Then I'm taking the lighter color in there and using that to clean up my contour, making sure everything is nice and even. The lighter color in there is used as a highlight color, but not highlight as in highlight that y'all are probably thinking of. Highlight is in bringing out the high points of your face, but not with a sparkly thing, just with <sighs> Whoa, this is difficult to explain. I hope you can keep up. I'm just cleaning up my contour, okay? My bad. I'm probably doing a really bad job of explaining it. Bravo, my God. That's a bro code. Then taking my Cody Airspun powder and setting my entire face after that, making sure that everything will stay for however long that I would like it to. Wiping it over my eyelids, circular motions, dabbing motions. Next, I'm going to be taking that beautiful Tarte blush that my girl Olivia gave me and going to be patting that on my cheek. The pigmentation on this was ridiculous and so beautiful. Like, honestly, Tarte blushes are my favorite blushes. Then, of course, you know what's coming up next. That highlight kit. It has shades for everybody. I wanted to swatch them for you. I feel like the there are shades for every skin tone, including deep and super light. So I'm just going to be taking that middle gold color. Oh! Oh, yes, reflect that light, honey. That is so stunning. Do you see how beautiful that is? And I got it at Kohl's for like $12. I didn't have to spend $42 on an Anastasia one. Actually, it's probably more than $42. I don't know. I'm just not willing to spend that much money on highlight kits now because I am in college. So I'm trying to find myself cheaper alternatives and you guys. And by cheaper, I don't mean in quality. I mean money because i know that not all of you guys want to be spending your coin on an anastasia glow kit when you can find something out there that is just as good so i love this thing so much i totally recommend it then because i wanted to be extra today i went over that highlight with the mary luminizer just to see how it would apply on my skin and make everything stand out and i actually really liked it um it didn't add too much to the highlight that i had on so i'm pretty sure it's more of a natural finish on there highlighting my cupid's bow my chin my the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose you see that glow okay then taking my elf primer going in putting that on my eyelids because we are going to get started on our eyeshadow yep 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 my favorite part of makeup is in fact eyeshadow and highlight so i'm going to be setting that primer with tempura by anastasia beverly hills in the modern renaissance palette setting 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 um so it is the new year i don't know if you guys have any resolutions i never have resolutions um if i want to change something about myself i change whatever i want to change whenever i want to change it i don't feel like having a new year 
needs me to it doesn't require me to change who I am as a person but for some people setting resolutions works for them for me it doesn't so I'm just chilling but if you guys have any resolutions comment down below what they are and let me know what journey of life you're headed to so I'm gonna be using five palettes a day it's kind of overwhelming I'm using modern renaissance that cargo palette the Star Wars one the Tardis Pro palette and the Peppermint palette from that Too Faced holiday collection. And then uh, a single shadow from my Z palette. So I'm just going to pull that out. It's by BH Cosmetics. It's really nice. It's pink. We're doing a pink flirty eye. I think one of the most fun looks to do is a pink eye or purple or blue, green. Whatever color you want to make your eye color. I just think that it's so fun. Next, I'm going to be taking this mauve shade from the Star Wars Cargo Palette. If you don't know, I am a huge Star Wars nerd. Actually, it's kind of a secret. I'm like a closeted Star Wars nerd, which is ironic because I'm actually recording this in my closet right now. So, double meaning, I guess. Then I'm going to be taking Love Letter in the Modern Renaissance Palette, throwing that up there too, making sure everything is nice and blended, using that Anastasia Beverly Hills Blending Brush. It is my favorite blending brush. I know that I talk about it all the time. I'm sorry about it. Next, going to be taking... My Tardis Pro palette, taking the color Mod and just darkening it up just a little bit more. Still using that Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush that has the blending side, the little flat side. I definitely recommend this brush. I can't recommend it enough, actually. So just taking a peek at the blending job. Then taking that primer because I'm going to be putting a really beautiful shimmery pink purple duochrome uh, lid on my shadow. And I really want it to pop out and to stick. I'm not cutting my crease or anything like that. This is just me making sure that whatever color that I use from this peppermint palette, which I think is called Sparkles. That doesn't sound right at all, but it's so pretty. Just I just want to make sure that whatever color that I put on my lid is going to stick there. It's going to stay there. It's going to be super pigmented. Because um, I like to apply things with a brush more than my fingers. And 9 times out of 10, i got to apply... Uh, shimmer shadows with my finger because they don't pick up on brushes very well this one did really really well and I'm pretty sure it's because I primed my lids again so I primed them once and then another time for the sparkly base then taking a bigger fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics it might be the 207 brush and just taking love letter again making sure that all of the edges are seamless <laughs> Then I was just running Love Letter under my lash line and taking Classic in the Tardis Pro palette just to clean up my edges, make sure that they're nice and snatched and pointy. I hope y'all don't mind if I keep inputting clips of me jamming out. This is how I do my makeup so alone, so this is how I want to do it with you guys because I guess we are this one. We are one being, one person i mean you whatever i'm like acting like i've transcended into an opinion but i really haven't i'm just trying to talk y'all through this so then i'm taking the highlight shade that i use highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner just to give up that extra pop of goodness because you know me i am such a highlight freak i just want to be glowing at all times every day <laughs> so next I'm going to be using Roller Lash and their Real Mascara, AAA. Get that on, get it good, then using falsies. <laughs> My falsies are on. They are a combination of Wispies by Ardell and Alexis Lashes by AOA. Um, I'm just putting bare gloss on my lips, but going back to lashes, anytime that I have like an old pair of lashes that needs to be thrown away and another old pair, so if I have two pairs of old lashes, I put them together to create one mega lash, and this is what I did with this look. Then I'm using the Ready Set Radiant by Tarte, which I have a travel size right now because I wanted to know if I would like it. I ended up absolutely, completely loving it. I love it so much, so I gotta buy a full size. And this is how I went from bare face, naked little girl, to date ready, so loving of herself, prepared to take on the world. Um, I love how every single time that I do this, I put it in slow motion, like as if I'm a model. But I'd like to think that this is how other people see me. Like when I'm walking by and they see me, I'm like walking in slow motion. They're over here thinking like, dang, she really, she beat her face today. She's looking good. 
She is looking fresh. She looks like she is about to own wherever she is going into, whether it be going out to eat, going to the bathroom, I don't know, getting groceries, the Dollar Tree, wherever I'm going, I know that I'm going to stunt. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, then I guess you're going to have to click that subscribe button and stick around. But thank you so much. Kisses. Bye-bye.